Hello and welcome, Gemini. I am Pisces Intuition here through weekly reading. All right, Gemini, let's see what is going on. What does Gemini need to know? All right, Gemini, keep in mind this is a uh, general reading, so not everything I say is going to resonate with your situation. Um, you know, and that's okay, so just take what does and leave the rest behind. Okay, that is a lot of cards. I will take the top one, which is the High Priestess. What else does Gemini need to know, please? Gemini, I know this is a High Priestess card, but it really kind of feels like some uh, news is going to be coming in. Yeah, as I say that, we have the Eight of Wands. So some communication, some kind of news, um, something is going to be coming in for you. Feels like you've been waiting on it for quite some time. Um, we have the Queen of Pentacles. Yeah, again, waiting to receive this. It's either an offer of some kind. This could be a love situation. This could be a job situation. We will definitely get more into it. Um, bottom of the deck. Ace of Pentacles. So yeah, so somebody is definitely looking at a new beginning here. Um, hmm. Okay, let me grab my other deck. Okay, yeah, I just see like, I don't know why I almost said Pisces. Uh, you could be dealing with the Pisces. But Gemini, um, as I was saying, it kind of really feels like you intuitively kind of know like something's coming in maybe you've had this kind of nagging feeling of you know something's coming in like there's going to be some kind of news coming your way something's going to be changing um you just intuitively kind of feel something is coming okay and that's what i keep getting very strongly especially with this high priestess it does feel like some kind of secret is going to be unveiled or again some kind of news something you've been waiting to hear um an offer you've been waiting for wondering you know did you get this um, new promotion or this new, you know, job offer, or, you know, is this person going to reach back out or, you know, is this person going to, you know, come in with an offer of a new, you know, relationship, something along those lines, whatever you're resonating with, it's like, you've been waiting for this information for quite some time. Now with the eight of, um, wands and keep in mind, this is the before tarot. So it's like communication has not quite left yet. Okay. Somebody's still hanging on to some communication here, but it does feel like it's, almost there. It does feel like it's on its way. Um, with the Queen of Pentacles, like I said, it really kind of feels like you've just kind of taken a step back. You've been kind of waiting patiently. But we also have the Seven of Swords. Hmm. And I am going to clarify each card as well. Um, with this particular Seven of Swords, it almost feels like you had to be very strategic. Like you had to kind of plan your next move. I keep getting like a chess board or like a chess game, um, you know, where you're like having to, like I said, plan your next move. And I don't know why I heard like battleship. <laughs> um, okay, so with the high priestess, we have the star card. We have the page of wands. And we have the Knight of Wands. So yeah, so again, somebody is definitely taking action, um, bringing in some kind of good news. With the Star card, this is like wish fulfillment, <clears throat> you know, wishing on a star type of situation. So something that you've been holding close, something that maybe you haven't let anybody know that you secretly want, you've secretly been kind of wishing for, hoping for. Um, like I said, it feels like some good news is going to be coming in about this particular situation. With the Knight of Wands, this is something that really kind of sparks your passion. It's also, again, about taking action. It's like once you get this good news, like it's no holds barred. It's like you're taking action. You are really going forward. Okay, I do want to clarify the um, Eight, please. Eight of Wands. All right, so we have got to show you six of wands we have the page of pentacles and we have the king of wands okay so a lot of fire energy here too um earth energy fire energy 
Okay, so with the King of Wands, the Page of Pentacles, and then the Six of Wands, this is really getting somebody's attention. Again, it kind of feels like somebody's been withholding their feelings or withholding communication. Um, you know, I don't want to say because um, it is intentional, but it's like, you know, they're kind of afraid to approach you. They're afraid to just kind of put the word out there, put themselves out there. But it's like, you know, the timing feels right. Um, everything just kind of feels right for them to let you know how they feel. Um, for somebody, this is coming in offering a new relationship for somebody else this is offering an apology wanting to fix things because it does feel like in the past there's been some kind of healing between you and a mutual person here and uh, this could be a relationship you know friendship um any type of situationship but yeah but it definitely does feel like somebody's taking action somebody is really coming forth saying okay um you know i don't want to stay in the dark anymore i do want to you know reach out communication and then for others of you, this is almost like a secret admirer. It's like you really caught somebody's attention. And it's like they're, you know, kind of doing like that double glance, like, hey, you know, look at Gemini. Gemini's looking pretty good. All right, Queen of Pentacles. Because I can feel that, yeah, I was going to say, as, um, I can feel that offer coming in, and then we get the Ace of Wands. So again, <laughs> um, that fire energy, that passionate energy with the Queen of Swords and the Two of Pentacles. So, you know, kind of up in the air, something, it feels like, feels like either you've been single for a while or you've been doing your own thing for a while because um, it just feels like you know a few things for you in life have just kind of been up in the air making the next move on where you want to go what you want next you know kind of like dating you know it's all just kind of nothing's been certain okay it just feels like you're kind of you know just seeing what's out there seeing what you're really vibing with seeing what you what what you really want with this queen of swords you know that's also um you know, seeing things for what they are, it's, you know, it's truth, it's communication, it's seeing things clearly, but it's also setting up boundaries and cutting things out that are not serving you. So if these are, you know, things from, um, you know, the past, you know, the situation that's kind of holding you back, especially with this two of pentacles, because I do feel like something's kind of keeping you from like fully moving forward or enjoying something here, enjoying this new beginning. It's almost like there's a little bit of fear of enjoying this, like I said, this new beginning, this new opportunity. Um, but it feels like you're kind of just cutting that out and you're just going to take that new opportunity. You're going to walk through that door. All right. I want to clarify the seven of swords. We have justice. Okay. Um, right away, I'm getting karma, getting something that's karmically owed, balancing the scales. It's like what you've been waiting for, what you've been working for, what's, you know, been kind of wronged is soon to, um, you know, get right. With the five of swords here, it kind of feels like, you know, you had to, uh, it's like you've had your feelings hurt along the way. It feels like there's even been some kind of betrayal or something to a certain extent. Um, with the Ten of Wands, it does feel like you're still holding on to a situation or you were just left, you know, it's like you kind of almost feels like you lost everything and there's only like a little shard of hope that you're holding on to or, you know, something like that. It just seems like you really kind of went through um, a tough situation, a tough time, a very trying time. But like I said, with the card of justice showing up, it does feel like, you know, karmically speaking, things are going to be really renewed. Things are going to be really kind of balanced out. It feels like you're going to be given what, you know, you deserve. And it feels good. Because it just feels like you've kind of gotten the short end of the stick out of a lot of things here, Gemini. Kind of feels like you've been, you know, wronged and, you know, just kind of taken advantage of. Okay, with these Ace of Pentacles, you have two brand new Aces, like, on the table here. So we have the Knight of Pentacles. We have, ooh, again, the Eight of Wands. So, yeah, so somebody's definitely taking action here. And the Knight of Cups, wanting to offer their feelings, wanting to offer that cup of love, wanting to let you know how they truly feel about you. It's been a long time coming. So, like I said, whether this is someone from your past, which, you know, it will be for some of you, wanting to, like I said, balance that scale, right that wrong, um, you know, come in with an apology, 
for others of you, this is somebody new coming in. And, you know, again, like I said, they are throwing out some communication. Really just, it kind of feels like there might be other people that are trying to talk to you or get your attention. But it feels like there's going to be this one particular person that really kind of stands out for you, Gemini, to where you're just like, you know, I want to give this one a try. You know, there's something different here. There's something that is just kind of calling me. And um, with this Knight of Cups... Like I said, it does feel like in the past you've kind of have you know, some relationships where it seems like the person's been kind of selfish. Um, it seems like the person is just kind of more interested in themselves or what they could, you know, get from you or what you could give them, you know, things like that, instead of working for the relationship or making it um, a partnership. And so, like I said, with this particular Knight of Cups coming in like this, it does feel like, for one, you stop and you're kind of changing what you're looking for in a person. And two, you're really acknowledging your true self, what it is that you want. And it's not, you're just, how do I want to say this? You're not um, backtracking. You're not, you know, going for, like like I said, it, it feels like you're really kind of changing up your type or the person that you're uh, used to kind of dating. It's like for a while because it's just like you want something different. You want somebody different, somebody who's going to treat you differently. Yeah, it feels like you're putting yourself first. And it's like, if this person isn't coming with their A game, like, I, I don't want it. Like, I'm not even going to acknowledge you. Because it feels like it's going to take a lot for this person to get your attention. Like, they're really going to have to stand out. Because it kind of feels like you have a few people that's trying to get your attention or that's going to be coming in wanting to get your attention, Gemini, wanting to talk to you. And you're just, you're not here for it. Because it really kind of feels like, I said, due to past disappointments, um, almost like being taken advantage of or something, it's just like, no. Like, you recognize the signs. Like, you're, you're looking for something different. Yeah, and I just feel you putting yourself first this time. And that's good. Like, self-love, self-healing. Like, you know your worth. You're not going to settle for anything less. And that's good. That's what I keep getting. Okay. All right. So one of the offers, like I said, that could that's going to be made um, that really kind of stands out. Um, it says this could be the one you've already met the romantic partner you seek. And then engagement in your love life is ascending to a higher level of commitment. Okay. Um, for some of you, like I said, this is a past person. I just noticed the bottom of the deck. It says separation. So it does feel like um, with this past person that wants to come back to offer an apology, to kind of send out communication, you know, open that up again. Um, it does feel like, you know, like I said, obviously you guys are in separation right now. But it does feel like this person does want, you know, some kind of commitment from you. I don't see them, you know, coming back um, wanting to, you know, get engaged the next day. But I do see them wanting some kind of commitment, wanting to see can we make this work again. For those of you that this new person is coming in, they're coming in with commitment on their mind. They don't want just, you know, one night stand. They don't want anything that's going to be, um, you know, like hit it and quit it. Like, no. They want something committed they want something you know sturdy here something steady something solid all right let's see actually now let's do this deck first all right so let's get some of the oracle here okay Okay, so remember how I said some of you guys, it feels like you're, you're having to like strategize or like come up with some kind of plan or something. Um, then you have the card of strategy. So have a game plan, implement daily routines that support your goals. Be clear about your desires. Again, kind of that queen of swords type of energy. Um, clearly communicating, you know, clearing out that throat chakra, saying what it is that you want, what you're looking for, what you need. And if something's not working, you know, cutting ties, cut it out. We also have the cheater story. So cheated on now or in the past, trust issues triggered, heal past hurts, and change your future. Yeah, like I said, it really kind of feels like some of you guys have been taken advantage of um, because it feels like going into this next partnership or, you know, just putting yourself out there into the dating world again, it really feels like you are... Um, what am I trying to say here? Putting yourself first, really kind of, you know, looking for those red flags, really just kind of, you know, not settling is what I'm trying to say. And that's good. That is really good. All right, let's go ahead and let's get some hidden oracle. Because like I said, I do feel a past person wanting to come in, wanting to apologize. 
And of course, you know, that ball is always in your court. I'm not here to say who you should date, who you should be with. Um, you know, I'm just here to tell you what I see. And like I said, this is a general reading. All right, so you have, you came closer than anyone. I feel you, even though we are apart. And I know I was a distraction from your pain. Okay. So somebody could have, you know, felt like they were just kind of being used. Like I said, I did pick up on that. So that could be more your message, Gemini. Um, however, even though you're apart, like I said, it does feel like you're still on this person's mind. Um, it does feel like you got past their, you know, their shield, their wall. You know, this, like I said, this could be you. This could be vice versa. Uh, I don't know if somebody, okay, this is a message I get for somebody. Um, I don't know if somebody is a painter or an artist, like they work with paints, but like, I don't know, something to do with paints. I don't know why that just came through. Okay, um, now I'm taking some, let's see, some other love messages here. These are by Charming Oracle Heartfelt Love Messages. Yeah, I don't know if that was like a house painter um, their job requires like some kind of painting like I don't know but that message was just coming through from for somebody like it's really like you got past that person's shield it's like you know them better than anybody but they just kind of got spooked by that intensity So I know that this is a spiritual connection. All right, so for those of you, that could honestly be your past person or the future person. Um, somebody coming in could be a very spiritual connection, you know, soulmate, twin flame, um, soul contract, you know, whatever the case is. It just feels like there's a soul connection or a spiritual connection between you and a person here. Like I said, whether this is a person um, from your past or, you know, a person that's going to be coming in. So, you know, again, take it, take it how it resonates. Um, we have, I was wearing masks, but you could see right through me and that scared me. Okay. That is awesome that, that, yeah, because then we have, you came closer to anyone. Yeah. It just feels like you got past that person's shield, past their, uh, defenses, you know, really being able to see them, see kind of through them, you know, really kind of get their feelings, but it kind of spooked them. Like I said, the intensity, I think just kind of frightened them to where, you know, they kind of took off and it was just like, okay. And that's where the betrayal kind of comes into play because it feels like for some of you, they just kind of ghosted left with no answers. And I think that really kind of, obviously that would bother you. That would bother anybody. Um, but it feels like that they want to come in. They kind of want to make it right. They need to let you know why they did what they did. And like I said, it does feel like an apology is going to be on the table and you know, they want to see if they can make this work, this go around. So, all right, well, Gemini, that is what I have for you. So I do hope this helps your situation. Um, and until next time, take care.